Oh well, baby Van Van Dumpkin Hill. This video is addressed specifically to the dinosaurs, those of the Jurassic Age. Notably, evangelicals, and those that tend to, tend to worship dead old tile gods that live and breathe off the remains of dinosaurs and fossil fuels. These are to those that worship dead gods. We of the LOA do not worship dead gods. Ours are living, breathing deities. We know very well that the reason that you think that it's going to be the end of the world and why you want to bring on the end of the world and think that it's the apocalypse, it's because you're scared. Those are called death pains. You are a dead, old, tired way of thinking. And I will have you know, those that call themselves evangelicals, or that call themselves patriarchal odos, you worship dead gods. And your wee little brains have gotten so small, smaller than the size of a pea. And you have become such a gigantic, monstrous monster, larger than even Godzilla or anything. That you are scared of your extin extinction. You are scared of your very extinction. And it's true, it says in, in your very scriptures, in the, in the Bible, which is a dead and tired old book that isn't even correctly translated or understood at this point. But how it says the good will be bad and the bad will be good. And individuals like Fred Phelps and Billy Graham and these evangelical creatures that condemn homosexuals but then are caught exposing themselves to little boys in the bathroom and doing doing um, quack. Quack is whack, yo. I, t I tend to think when it comes to the true extreme reality of things, the reality of what true evil would be. If you're, if you're going to go out and define evil, if evil's going to be defined, which I don't think it's a very e easy thing to define, but I think all you have to do is look into the eyes of Billy Graham. You know, when he looked into the eyes of George Bush and said, George, are you right with God? Do you know the true path? And George said, I am ready for, to, I am ready. I am ready to become an evangelical and become the leader of the free world. <laughs> what a freaking joke, a free world. You want true liberty? You want true liberty? Who taught liberty? Who taught about liberty and freedom? Lucifer. Not Yahweh. Yahweh is a bloodthirsty, deranged war god. A war god that the Jews started to worship because they found if they worshipped him, he would help them win wars. Constantine worshipped and used the cross because it was told that if he used the cross of Yahweh, that it would help him win the wolves. You are worshipping war gods. Frankenstein deranged beast monsters. You want the true beast? Are you looking for the beast? Look into your very Jesus, your very own Jesus. The metaphors are there in your very own religion. The metaphors are there in your very own beliefs and in your very own books. The Beast 666 is Jesus Christ, you evil evangelicals. I hate to disappoint you, you know. Yeah. Take that, Moses. You want to move mountains? Go down to the conference center in Salt Lake City, owned by the LDS Church. And you'll see how the priesthood and how the power of God can move mountains. They moved the, all that granite out of Little Cottonwood Canyon and they placed it all over there and created a great and spacious building for the worlds to come and congregate to and the peoples of the world. So that's all I have to say. You know, if you are going to be looking at the patriot, patriarchal autos, the ted, dead tired dinosaurs, sorry to disappoint you. I'm Baby Bam Bam Bumpkin. Out. Oh, and P.S. Ronald McDonald and Jesus Christ are the same person as well. Ronald McDonald and Jesus Christ are the same person. And if you can't understand that parable or that metaphor, I guess you're just not meant to understand it. I'm sure someone like Roman philosopher 
Hill on YouTube wouldn't understand a metaphor like that because he has such a high IQ. But Michael Jackson and Jesus Christ are the same person.